guys because he is here. He's going to move tonight. If you're needing something, he is here to, to deliver and to give because he is our God. Amen. All right, Brother Jerry, you want to pray for this? Get behind our praise and worship team. You could be in 
in the hospital. Amen. You could be gone to heaven. Amen. But you're here today. And that's the reason why I praise him and Amen. worship him. <laughs> Amen. And who will not be removed? I'm not going Amen. to be removed. Amen. No.
praise God. Just give him praise tonight. Just give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Just step into the presence of the Lord tonight and just worship him. Oh, hallelujah. Just love on him tonight, church. Let him love on you. Oh, mighty. That's who he is. Prince of peace. He's your peace speaker tonight. Just trust in him tonight. Troubles vanish. He's a deliverer. Hearts are mended. He binds up the brokenhearted tonight. The presence of the King. Give hallelujah, give him glory tonight. It's in the presence of Jehovah. Hallelujah. God Almighty, Prince of Peace, troubles vanish, hearts are mended. Just lift your hands and voices toward heaven tonight, and let's just give him glory. Give him honor tonight, for he and he alone is worthy. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you and you alone tonight. Lord, we give you all of our glory, all of the worship, Lord, to you and you alone tonight. Father, we thank you for your mighty presence here tonight. Thank you tonight, Lord, for just walking up, down, up every aisle tonight, Lord, and just touching, Lord, as we look across this audience, Lord, there is masterpiece after masterpiece, uh, Lord, that you're working on and developing tonight, Lord, and Lord, and strengthening and renewing and developing, Lord, into your image. Father, we just so grateful tonight, Lord, we're so thankful tonight. Lord, for the working of the Holy Spirit, Lord, in our midst tonight. Lord, that is, uh, Lord, that is uh, 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 working on our hearts tonight. Father, we surrender and we yield to you. Let our hearts be pliable. Let our hearts be pliable in your presence. Father, we love you tonight. We give you the praise and all the glory in Jesus' wonderful name. And everybody said amen. amen. Praise God. You may be seated tonight. Give our praise and worship team a great hand tonight. We appreciate their heart, their heart and their devotion to the Lord tonight and their love towards you as the congregation tonight. May God richly bless them abundantly. It's a great time to be in the house of the Lord. It's a great time to be in the presence of of the Lord. One day we're going to go to the big church. <laughs> One of these days we're going to go to the city. Amen. Praise God. If you got your Bibles tonight, I want to go ahead and get in some word tonight. And uh, it's just going to continue to flow right on with the service. Thank you, Brother Kevin. I appreciate Brother Kevin and Tracy. These guys are such a blessing, and we love them dearly tonight. Amen. 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 Go with me, if you would, to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, the 25th chapter. Isaiah, the 25th chapter. 
begin reading at verse number 1, Isaiah 25 and 1. Oh, Lord. Can you imagine Isaiah just sitting down penning this when he just says, Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Can you imagine the, the tone of his voice and the heart that's coming out of it? He says, Oh, Lord, thou art my God. Woo, don't you feel that tonight? Just feel the heart of Isaiah tonight as he's penned this down. He said, Oh, Lord. Thou art my God, and I'm going to bless you. I'm going to exalt you. Oh, glory, shut the motor cord about I'm going to exalt you, Lord, and I'm going to praise thy name. Woo, my Lord. For thou hast done wonderful things. Hasn't God been good to you? Hasn't God done many, many wonderful things in your life? Too many to mention tonight. There are more than what we could ever count. Thy counsels, the wisdom, the eternal purposes of old, of past. He said they are faithfulness and they are of truth. What God has done for us has been absolute precious. What he's done for us of his faithfulness has been precious. And what he's done is the truth. And so what you see, there is a past and a present and a future. That's what Isaiah is writing. Things of old, God's faithfulness and his truth to come. We serve a God who extends through all every face he's been with us in the past he's here in the present and you can count on him being there in your future tomorrow <laughs> hallelujah what a mighty mighty god and this is the good news his counsels don't ever change his truth never ceases glory to god i can be like oh isaiah tonight say lord you are my god you are my god and i'm going to bless you i'm going to praise you and i'm going to exalt you because i love you I love him, not for just what he does, but I love him, Brother Kevin, for who he is. I, he's the epitome of love. He's the picture of love tonight. He is he's the tendency of what love is tonight, and we can love him just for who he is. That's the sole purpose tonight. He loves us, and it's our job, it's our, job, it's our privilege, our honor tonight to reciprocate that love to him and say, Lord, I'm just going to love you. Father, we praise you. Lord, for your mighty, whoo, my Lord. Lord, for your presence in this place tonight. Father, we thank you for that extravagant love, Lord, that is here. Lord, we thank you for the liberty, Lord, of the, of, of, of the, of the presence, Lord, of the Lord tonight, Lord, that is in this house, that is ministering. Lord, truly your Holy Spirit is ministering, Lord, to every heart as we sense and we have a, have a feeling tonight, Lord, that you are dealing intimately with every being, Lord. Fathers, you're renewing minds tonight. Lord, you're, 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 you're captivating our attention. You're captivating our devotion to you right now. Lord, as we glean from these, from these passages of Isaiah right now, Lord, that we can take these as past and present and future. Father, tonight, Lord, as you just embody, embody us tonight, God, into your realm. Father, we bless you, we praise you, and we glorify you for it. In Jesus' wonderful, wonderful, holy name. And everybody said amen. amen. I want to preach a very simple message tonight entitled just worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. It's worship means to be reverent, give honor, give adoring regard. It means to give praise to give glory or to give homage. When you look up the word worship, you'll find it is two words that has been put together. The word were, W-O-R, comes from the word worth. 
worth. How many know he is worth all of our praise? He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. And the word ship comes from an old English word spelled S-C-I-P-E. Very strange. S-C-I-P-E. But the meaning is absolutely extravagant. Because it means rank, office, dignity, and position. Isn't that powerful? So we worship him because he is in a place of a worthy position or a place of worthy rank tonight. He is, when, when Isaiah says, I will exalt you, he's already been exalted. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus. God told his son, he told Jesus, he said, son, I'm going to give you a name that's above every name. And I'm going to give you a name that every knee is going to bow and every name is going to confess that name. That's a name that's above all names tonight. It's already a name that's already been exalted. So when we come together to worship him, we're just going to just magnify him and exalt him for who he is and give him that honor that's worthy of his name I couldn't help but to think of the scripture found over in the book Ephesians the fifth chapter in the book of Ephesians the fifth chapter tonight is if you if you go back to the book of Acts you'll find that it was just the in the beginning of the early church as the Holy Spirit began to move on the people they begin to go house to house and break bread and take communion and, and, and help one another in need. That was the normalcy of the beginning of the church. They just worshiped the Lord. They would go to the temple. And, but if you go back before Christ was born, you'll find Herod. He rebuilt the temple. And when he rebuilt the temple out of the white marble that they had during those days, it was an immaculate temple with the, with the humongous pillars that were built up a place of where the kings would go in a place where they would use this temple as a place of worship and if you go back to John 2 and 16 I believe it is when Jesus walked in he said they were selling doves and there was money changers there and he says you have made my house a house of merchandise he said but my house shall be called a house of prayer the temple was a place where people would come to pray. It was a place where Jesus would come to the temple and he would quote the scripture or read the scriptures. As we know from the book of Isaiah, he said with the scriptures like today the scripture is fulfilled in your ears. He would come and preach like Luke, the, Luke the first chapter, verse 17, and he were 2 and 17. He would come in, he would talk about that, read the scriptures, even at a young age of 12 years old. Well, the, the, the church was being established, so to speak, as the, as, the, as the Jewish come together, but in the city of Jerusalem, but on the outskirts, in the different towns, the different cities, they would have what was known as the synagogues. And that's where the Apostle Paul would go preach, or Philip would go and preach, or, or the disciples would go into these different uh, synagogues, and they would begin to teach and preach the Word of God for hours on end. Hello. Some of them would attend, like in Acts, uh, like in Acts the third chapter, when they would be at the gate beautiful, and they would go in at the hour of the day and have word of prayer, or teaching, have church. Church was a normalcy that they would come together and worship the Lord, and how they would do this it tells us here in Ephesians, the fifth chapter, in verse number 15. He says, see then that you walk circumspectly. Church, there's ever been a time we as a church need to be walking in a place of reverence and holiness and righteousness and purity, behaving ourselves. Amen. Amen. He said, I want you to walk circumspectly, not as fools, but I want you to walk as people of wisdom. He said, redeeming the time because the days are evil church that is so relevant for today we need to be the lighthouse we need to be the beacon tonight we need to be the hope to the hopeless tonight that reaching the lost people who are who are lost because we need to be redeeming the time taking every moment of sharing the gospel verse 17 wherefore be not unwise but understanding what the will of the lord is 
What's the will of God? That we worship him. He says in John, the fourth chapter, the Father seeketh such to worship him. The Father adores him. Of the worship. He wants us to seek him. He wants us to desire him. He wants us to long for that we can come into the house of God, come into the synagogue, if you will, come into the place of the El Assembly and to worship him in all manner. We're not limited to doing one thing. We've been worshiping since we have been here. We worship him in prayer. We worship him in testimony. We worship him in our giving of our offering. We worship him through the preaching of the word. We lift our hands. We worship him in song tonight. We can worship the Lord in every area tonight. It is not bound and not limited to one particular area. We worship the Lord every day of our life. And he says right here, he said in verse 18, he said, And be not drunk with wine where in excess. He said, But I want you to be filled with the Spirit. Church, we are a Spirit-filled, Holy Ghost, tongue-speaking church tonight. We're not ashamed of it tonight because that's who we are. And when you've got the Holy Spirit living and dwelling on the inside of you tonight, your spirit has a desire and a want to connect with the Holy God tonight that we can bow down before Him and fall prostrate on our knees and say, Oh God, Thou art my God and I will exalt You. Hallelujah. Your spirit, man, has a hunger. Your spirit it has a desire to seek the living God. It's in us. You know, Christ was in the Garden of Gethsemane, and the disciples were there, and, and they would fall asleep. Christ had been up all day, and had been up all night, and he was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. And he told these words. He said, the Spirit, indeed, indeed, is willing but the spirit, or that the flesh is weak. In order for us to exalt God and to worship Him with the fullness that we can to the very best of our ability, we've got to crucify the will of the flesh. Your flesh gets tired. Your flesh gets weary. Your flesh doesn't want to. Your flesh says, I don't want to worship. I don't want to go to church. I don't want to sing. I don't want to raise my hands. I don't want to read my Bible. But you've got to overcome that because there's a spirit man on the inside of you that's making a connection with the Holy God. It says, my spirit is indeed, he is willing to praise Willing to pray, willing to read, willing to sing. And so the people would come together in these synagogues in verse 19. And he said, they would speak to yourselves in psalms. Speak to yourselves in hymns and spiritual songs and singing and making melody in your heart to who? To the Lord. <laughs> We're not here to sing, there's another tear in my beer. We're not here to sing tonight the, some old country song. We're here to worship the Lord where everybody has a part. Everybody, my Lord. Somebody may have a song. Somebody may have a, a hymn. Or somebody may have a, have a scripture that you want to read. Somebody says, I want to just testify. Church, this is the church of who we are, who lifts up and praises the name that's above every name tonight. It's all, we're all inclusive in this. And, and he said, just speaking to yourselves in songs. So when we come to church, you may come in drudgedly. You may come in and say, I'm just so beat down. I'm just so tired. I'm just worn out. I've been there. I've been so tired just to put one foot in front of the other. And then come to church, we put on our pretty face, we put on our smile, we put on our happy face. But you know what? Before long, when you, in, whew, my Lord, before long, when you come to the household of God and the Spirit starts moving and you get people full of the Holy Ghost and you start waving hands and somebody starts singing, starts singing a song, somebody starts magnifying. Honey, you can't help but to feel good. You can't help but start rejoicing. You can't help but why? Because it begins to spread. It, my, it begins to, my Lord, when you, some, all it takes sometimes is one body, one body to change the temperature in a church service. One person said, I came to worship the Lord. I come to praise him tonight. And pretty soon it starts overflowing. 
and it starts spreading. It starts splashing on somebody. Getting, am, I, am I making sense tonight? It starts splashing on somebody. Then before long, somebody gets happy over here. And somebody said, I'm going to just, my Lord, my Lord. So everybody starts worshiping and praising God. And we start doing verse 20. We start giving thanks. Woo, you talk about getting God's attention. When you just start thanking him in everything. In everything, just start giving thanks. Just start praising the Lord tonight. He said, give thanks always for all things. We've all got something that we're thankful for. I said, we've all got something we're thankful for. Because God is good to all. God has been good to all. He's been good. I read it to you. He's been good to you in your past. He's going to be good to you in your present. And he's going to be good to you tomorrow. That's his nature. That is who he is. So he says, this is the attitude. This is the attitude and the character that we come in. And we're going to sing. We're going to worship. We're going to praise. We're going to give. He said, we're going to give thanks. Now notice, it's all about giving. Why? Because God gave his son. If you don't have anything else, you can always say, Lord, thank you for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus making it all possible, Brother Kevin. Thank you that I've got a roof over my head. Thank you that I had supper today. Thank you, Lord, that I rode in a car. may not be your car, but you had a car to get in and get here with tonight. Somebody provided gas for you. Somebody provided. God provided you clothes on your back tonight. God bless you with health to be here tonight. You've got so much to be thankful for tonight. You can praise the Lord. Amen. He said, for all things unto God and the Father, and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I want you to go to the place of submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God or out of respect for God. That's how we worship the Lord. We come in that place of surrender. I read a scripture in the book of James right next door here that troubled my spirit. In James, the second chapter, verse 5, James chapter 2, verse 5, it just really troubled my spirit and it kind of grieved me, if you want to call it that. He says, hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world? Can you thank God that he chose you? He chose you. He chose the poor of this world, and yet he makes us rich in faith. You're rich in faith tonight. Watch this. And you are heirs. Thank you, Brother Chris. You're heirs of the kingdom of God. You're going to have an inheritance. Hello? You talk about your future. Hello? You can pray, Lord, I thank you for what you got in store for me. I've not seen or heard nor in the heart of man. The things you've got in store for me. Go over to streets of gold, gates of pearl, walls of pure jasper. What you've got in store for those who love you. I'm going to have a new name written down on a stone. Have my own personal white horse. <laughs> Woo, church, we got a future. You got a future tonight. And he says, he says, we're going to be heirs of the kingdom of God, which, is, which he has promised. Folks, praise him for his promises. Brent, praise him for his promises. He took care of you yesterday. He's going to supply your needs today. Man, he's going to extravagantly bless you tomorrow. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't quit on him today. <laughs> Your blessing might be around the corner, Sister Lynette. Your ship's coming in might be right around the corner, Brother Brandon. I'm telling you, God is a merciful God. God is a bountiful God. And God is not a stingy God. Hallelujah. Woo, my Lord. He said, we're going to be heirs of the kingdom of He had promised to them that love him. Rejoice that your name has been written down the land book of life. Know that you're on your way to heaven. I'm just giving you some reasons tonight to praise him for, to thank you for. 
See, this is what happens when you enter into your prayer closet. You say, Lord, I thank you for my house, thank you for my family, thank you for saving my soul, and we quit. Let me tell you, there, if you start thanking the Lord for everything you've done, when you start counting all your blessings, honey, you can be there for an hour and just start praising the Lord and just worshiping him. It can turn into a praise zone. Hello. Well, you may win because you got to battle that old flesh. You got to contend with the phone ringing, contend with the texting, and we got this habit. I can see who it is. Lord, I thank you. Who is this right calling me? <laughs> Might miss a phone call here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> There's so many distractions. Most of the time, it's an unknown caller. Or text, it don't mount to a hill of beans. Somebody says, here's your, here's your code for Sonic today. <laughs> and these things are trying to distract because you're in competition. God has no equals. There is no equal to God, and God has no rivals. But there is a competitive spirit tonight. Satan, let me tell you, Satan is not God's equal rival. Satan is a ruler of this world. Satan is limited tonight, but God has no equal rivals against him tonight. So what you got, you got this battle zone going, but yet there is so many distractions that come against us that is trying to steal us of our time because only God is invisible. Only God is immortal. Only God tonight is infinite tonight. Only God is one who steadily reigns every day of our lives. So you've got this battle going on between good and evil and flesh and, and spirits and others battling on. But he tells us here, he says, he says, you promise to them that love him tonight. God is a God who is a jealous God. And there's so many things that are competing for our attention or furthermore trying to compete to steal our worship from us. Satan's job. So everything that's trying to steal from us is Satan, Satan originated. It originates, it stems from Satan trying to steal, trying to instigate, trying to rob us, rob God of his praise. Now, I said I was going to read this to you here. Look in verse, uh, where did I get to? Verse 6. He said, but you have despised the poor. Paul is writing to, or James is writing to these people here. He says, you have despised the poor. He said, do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seat. Look at verse 7. Do not they blaspheme the worthy name by which you're called. Not everybody is going to love Jesus. Not everyone is going to praise the Lord. Not everyone is going to adore him, give him homage, or give him respect because there's going to be some people that are going to disrespect his worthy yeah. name. They're going to blaspheme that name. And that grieves my spirit tonight. That irks me tonight when people take the name of God in vain and they curse the name and they speak, they, je they joke and jester about the name tonight that has so much power and worth and so much love in it and they, 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 they just blaspheme it like it has because it does mean nothing to them. They just seem to see GD this and GD that is to say good morning. It means because the, the, the spirit of worship, the heart that's in them is not in them to bring adoration to God. That's what he said. He said they're to the point where they're oppressing the poor. It shows what kind of character or manner or kind of people that they are. They have no respect for the widow. They have no respect for the fatherless. And they don't have any respect for God. But when you've got a respect for God, you're going to love the homeless. You're going to love the widow. And you're going to take care of the father because that's going to stem out of a heart of worship. It's going to stem from that. It's going to flow from that tonight. And so we, when we start looking at all the different aspects of, of who God is tonight, Notice what Isaiah said. He said, I will exalt the Lord. He is making a choice. I will adore him. He's making a decision. He's making a choice to identify who God is and what God has 
done. If you read on down from verses down from 1 to 2, 3, 4, and 5, you can flip back if you want to or just write it down. God brings us to that place. He shows us who God is, the greatness of God, of who we can adore, who we can praise Him. Psalms 145 and 3 says, talks about the greatness of God. Well, how do you know about the greatness of God? Get in His book. It's a book of praise. It's a book of praise, and, and, and when we come together as a church, we come to praise Him. And, and if you look in Psalms, go back to the Psalms, if you would. Let's look, let's look a few things here tonight. And I'll quickly go through these, because I want to spend some time in just, just in the presence. Thank you, ladies, for saying such a beautiful song at a proper time. In, in Psalms 100, Psalm 63, I'm sorry, Psalm 63 and verse 1, as David was writing here, of all places, David is... In the wilderness. He's in a place, not in the city, not in the tabernacle, not in a temple, not in a church, not in a building. He's in the wilderness. And he says, starts out the same way. He said, Oh God, thou art my God. Just like Isaiah said. He said, Watch this, early. That word early there is it, 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 it's tied up it, it, like a sister word to earnestly. Early and earnestly will I seek you. If you're going to praise him, we need to do it earnestly, genuinely, fervently. My soul thirsteth for thee. What beautiful words. Your spirit man is crying out to have fellowship with the holy God. Early early when you wake up in the morning just start praising him right there while you're while you're still laying in bed before your feet hit the floor just start praising the lord then you can start praying you can get up and pray a little bit but I, I like to just lay there and just praise him just thank him for the day i mean get the day started out right and just magnify him and just tell him what how beautiful my so he says my soul thirsts for the are you thirsty for him tonight church and my flesh, which is your body, hello, because you're all, we serve a triune God, we're a triune person, body, soul, and spirit, you've got to have all of them in, 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 working together here. You may be your, 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 your spirit is wanting to worship him and your mind is stayed upon him, but you've got to get those hands working. You've got to get that mouth working. You've got to get all working here, hello. So he says, my soul thirsteth. My flesh, my body is longing for you where? In a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Well, whether you win, whether you lose, you got to make a choice to praise him. Whether it's on the mountaintop or in the valley, you got to make a decision. I'm going to praise you anyhow. Whether it's raining or whether it's dry, you got to make a decision. Lord, I'm going to praise you anyhow. Hello. He said, I'm in a dry and thirsty land. But he said, Lord, I'm still going to praise you. And I'm still desiring you. I still want you. I'm still trusting in you. I'm still believing in you. You've never failed me. You're not coming in. He said, number two, he said, I want to see the power and thy glory as I have seen it in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. David said, I know what you've done for me. Dave, matter of fact, David was the one. He said, Michael, he said, you ain't seen nothing like I'm going to do. He said, David said, he said, you're making a fool of yourself. He said, you ain't seen nothing yet. We're going to dance like David danced. David was not ashamed, and he praised the God. He worshiped the Lord. Church, we got to have that kind of a, a spirit about us tonight. He said, I want to see your power, and there's nothing more that brings in the power of God like the power of praise tonight. When you start praising together in a corporate atmosphere, in the sanctuary, you can count on the presence of God coming down and where the presence of God comes down the glory starts being shown all around people start getting healed people start getting set free people start getting delivered you start getting minds renewed you start seeing people say honey you'll have revival on your hand when we start worshiping with an intimacy desiring and a hunger for God when we see the power David said I want to see your power if we'll see your power then we got to start praising we got to start praising Lord, I want to see your power. As we said, verse 3, because, he says, your loving kindness 
is better than life. Oh, hallelujah. Church, there's nothing like in the presence of the Lord, and you sense the loving kindness of God that wraps his loving arms around you, and you become sheltered in the arms of God, and he begins to, and he begins to nurture you, and he begins to work on your heart as a potter gets a hold of that old lump of clay, and you, and you start surrendering, and he starts working, and he starts molding it and shaping it into his image and conforming it into his image. Honey, you got something special going on. When the master surgeon shows up, my Lord, my Lord. That's why he said in verse 4, he said, thus, thus I will bless thee while I live. Church, you can't praise him in the grave. You can't praise him when the breath's going out of your lungs. When else are you going to praise him? Might as well go and start praising him now. He said, thus will I bless thee while I live. Watch this. I will lift up. My hands in thy name. Lord, I'm going to lift up my hands. Touchdown! Touchdown! Woo! Hallelujah! I said touchdown! Touchdown for Jesus! Amen! That's freedom. Freedom from religion. Freedom for formality. Freedom from legalism. The Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hallelujah. Church, take your liberty. Take your liberty and praise the Lord. Take your liberty. Raise those hands. Take the liberty. Lift your voice. And give the Lord a shout of praise. He said, my Lord, let's get your body involved. Mm. He says, my soul <laughs> shall be satisfied. Church, you won't be disappointed when the presence of the Lord shows up. You won't leave here disappointed. What you put into, what you're going to get out. Just like I said this morning. Blessed is the man that doesn't expect nothing because a man is going to get what he expected. But if you come expecting, if you come to participate, if you come in with anticipation, you're going to get blessed and you're going to leave here satisfied. Your soul is going to be fresh. Your mind is going to be renewed. Even your body is going to get healed. Your body will get healed because the, 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 the body says in Psalm 4, go, go to Psalm 42 and 11. Watch this. Psalm 42 and 11 says this right here. He says, he says, why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why are you discouraged? Why are you in a state of, of despair? He said, why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is health to my countenance and my God. If you come in and all down in the mouth, come in all discouraged tonight, but you start praising God, you start worshiping God, he'll bring you, renew your health tonight as the youth of an eagle tonight. He'll start renewing your mind. He'll lift you. He will bless you. It ain't, it ain't the preacher. It's the message. <laughs> It's the message that changes life. It's the word of God. It's the presence of the Holy Spirit. He brings health. Brings health. There is health in worship tonight. There's blessing in that tonight. He says in, go to, go to Job. Job chapter 1. Job, I love what Job said. Though God slay me, yet will I trust him. We gotta trust God. Look what he says in Job chapter one. After all of his his family been destroyed, his houses, his camels, his donkeys, everything lost, everything. He said in verse twenty one. He says, um, or at verse twenty. He said, Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell to the ground and worshipped. And when things have completely fallen apart, you've just lost your family. You're planning eight or nine funerals and everything's going on. You just lost your house, your barn. Lord, I'm gonna bless you. Maybe hard to do. But you got to override that flesh. Override that flesh. Let that spirit man lead you. He said, I, I was naked when I came out of my mother's womb. And naked shall I return hither. But the Lord gave. Hello. 
He said, the Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Let me tell you something. If the Lord gave it, and the Lord takes it away, where do you think it's at? <laughs> and he lost it. God still got it. The enemy said, why do you want to serve God? Why do you work? He just took everything he had. He still got it. Hello. He said, Lord, bless it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Folks, that's genuine. That's a heart that somebody didn't have to prime. Didn't have to pump. Didn't have to crank. Didn't have to wind up. Am I preaching better? I'm looking at you now. Sometimes we come to church, we got to get primed up and cranked up and wound up and Job lost everything, but he said, Lord, I'm still going to bless you. I'm still going to praise you because you're still my God. Woo! That's trusting God. That's believing in God. That's depending upon God. That's why he said, though God slay me, yet I'm going to trust him. You can praise him, my Lord. And Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Boy, that's a scripture I could have used this morning, wouldn't it? He didn't charge God foolishly. Oh, I could preach on and on and on. I'm going to stop. I still overstudy. I overstudy. Hadn't God been faithful? Hasn't God been faithful? Even though, even though there's people that don't believe in God. Even though they don't believe God exists, they don't believe in the love of God, they don't believe in God, God still loves them. God is still reaching out. God is still being faithful, even though people are blaspheming his name. Let me just remind you that God is a jealous God. There were people in the Old Testament that served idols, the pagans. There were people that built a golden calf worshipped it and they said this is what brought us out of the land of Egypt it's a lie there were people that built Dagon there were people that built named an idol Baal Baal worshippers but I want to remind you tonight God is a jealous God and there is no other God beside him there is no other God beside him and yet there's people that still have idols today. They may not be stone or wood or metals, but they could be things that it's front or comes before God. We've got to be careful and cautious of thing, putting things ahead of God. But tonight, let's cast everything aside and say, God, my soul thirsteth for you. Lord, my heart hungers, my heart longs for you tonight. Father, we just gather right now. Lord, we're in your tabernacle. Lord, we're in your sanctuary tonight. Lord, as we come in the holies of holies, Lord, to give you the homage, Lord, to give you the reverence, Lord, and respect, Lord, to the best of our abilities. Lord, acknowledging you unashamedly tonight, Lord, un, un, unhinderedly, Lord, to worship and exalt you and to praise you. Lord, we come with the heart of Isaiah tonight, O oh God. Thou art my God, and I will exalt thee. I will exalt thee tonight. Father, we just bless you. We praise you for it tonight, Lord, as we put on the garment of praise. Lord, to remove that old spirit of heaviness. God, I just pray for someone that has a heavy heart in here tonight, Lord, that, 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 are, that are facing challenges. Lord, that tonight, as we begin to just start worshiping, worshiping you intimate, intimately, fervently, Lord, and openly. Lord, I pray that that old baggage tonight, Lord, that old shackles, they just begin to fall off. God, just as Paul and Silas were in jail, Lord, in the book of Acts, Lord, they begin to sing and they begin to praise. And, Lord, the prison bars begin to open unto them. Father, I pray that atmosphere will happen here tonight, God. 
Lord, as we enter into, woo, my Lord, my Lord, Father, we enter into that realm right now of liberty. Lord, we can experience freedom tonight to just worship you unhinderedly. Father, we praise you and we bless you for it tonight in Jesus' wonderful holy name. Let's just worship. You can worship him however, however you want to, wherever you want to tonight. If you have a song or a hymn or scripture, just, just begin to just worship him right now in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth around the altars. You can stand and praise him. You can walk and praise him. You can fall on your knees and praise him. You can just thank him for so many things tonight. Thank him for so many things of what he's done, where he's brought you from, how he's provided for you, how he's healed you, how he's saving your family. Praise him tonight. Praise him tonight. Just worship him all over this house tonight. Turn it into a praise center. Turn it into a praise zone tonight. An atmosphere where healing is released. Deliverance is released. Freedom is experienced. Woo, my Lord. Be filled with the Spirit tonight. Be filled with the Holy Ghost tonight. Start praying that the Holy Ghost fill you with his power. Fill you with his mighty love. Woo, Oh, my Lord, my Lord, Lord, we worship you, we bless you, Lord, we bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, in solemnness, Lord. Lord, you're worthy, Lord, you're worthy. Oh, sing it tonight, sing it, hallelujah. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you tonight, Lord, that you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy tonight, Lord. Lord, may we have an intimacy, an intimate, Lord, love song with you tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you are my righteousness. Hallelujah. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. Oh, I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Lord, I bless you tonight. Just get along with God. Enter your praise closet tonight. Just enter your praise closet tonight and just get along with God. Seek Him with all of your heart. Seek Him with all of your heart, body, mind, soul, spirit tonight. Cling to Him. Open your heart to Him. Open your heart tonight. Open your heart. Let Him come in. Let Him come in. Let Him come in and commune with you tonight. Glory, la la la, bokora da da da, sita na 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 ka, sita borondo da boya, sita la 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 ka, ooh, shana na 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 la borondo la la ka. Lord, we just worship you, Lord. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. I worship. There is none like you, Lord. Bless your daughter tonight, Lord, this hand. Lord, he sits here and I bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Bless her and her walk with you tonight, God. Lord, this heart tonight, Lord, this heart that adores you. Hallelujah. Lord, this heart that you're enthroned upon. You're enthroned upon this heart tonight, God. My Lord, my Lord, an heir. Lord, an heir of the kingdom of God. Lord, she's an heiress tonight of the kingdom of God and all your bountiful blessings, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God.
Jesus now we are standing. Ooh, my Lord, my la la la, bohora kishara la, bohora kishara la la, mora na 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 ka. Hallelujah. Praise him tonight, church. Just praise him tonight. Get beside yourself. Say, Lord, I'm going to praise you tonight. Lord, I'm going to break free tonight from what people think about me. Lord, I'm going to break out tonight. Lord, of fear. Lord, I'm going to praise you openly, Lord. Woo, my Lord, my Lord, my God, my God. Let's pray. Let us praise Jesus now. Hallelujah. We are standing in his presence. And we are standing in his presence. For we are standing in his presence. On holy ground, hallelujah, oh come, Holy Spirit, I need thee. Just be filled with the Spirit tonight, church. You come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Oh, invite him in tonight. Oh, come in thy strength and thy power. Oh, come in thine own special way. Won't you just invite the Holy Spirit in tonight? Oh, come. Holy Spirit, I need Thee. Lord, we need You tonight. We need Your Spirit. Oh, come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, come in Thy strength and Thy power, oh, Lord. Oh, come, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many wants to see that strength and that power? Can I praise you one more time? Oh, come, Holy Spirit, I need thee. Our church, we need him tonight. Our church needs him tonight. We need him tonight. Sweet Spirit, I pray, hallelujah. Oh, come in thy strength and thy power, hallelujah. Oh, come in thine own special way. Is there someone here tonight needs a healing? Is there someone here tonight that just needs a touch in your body tonight? It hurts. It aches. It's in pain tonight. But as I was singing that song right there, Lord, your power and your strength. God wants to heal somebody right now. If that's you, would you just stand to your feet right now and say, Lord, that's me. Lord, I need a healing tonight. I need renewed strength in my body tonight. If you'll stand right now, God will heal you. God will heal your body right now. If you'll just believe, that's what the power of praise does, folks. It gets God's attention where the presence of God begins to come down. And he and God begins to release healing tonight. He lets that healing virtue. He releases that healing virtue into the midst of that old arthritis. In the midst of those joints and the body pain that are aching right now, he will come in and heal that in Jesus' name. Sing it for me one more time right now. If you see somebody, lay hands on them. Begin to lay hands on that person right now. And I want you to believe and pray for them right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, there's healing right now. Woo, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. My Lord, 
Lord, heal my brothers. Lord, heal my sisters tonight. Lord, heal these body pains. Lord, heal these aches tonight. Lord, healing skin cancer. Lord, healing kidney issues. Lord, healing problem in the knee right now. Lord, begin to heal that hip joint tonight. Lord, begin to heal that backache right now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, take away that migraine. Take away that old headache tonight, God. Lord, strengthen that ligament. Strengthen that ligament in that leg right now, Lord, to make it strong. Lord, to make it strong again, Lord. Father, I bless you for it. I bless you for it. I bless you for it. I bless you for it, Lord. I exalt you tonight. Woo, my Lord, just believe right now. Believe and give him praise. Give him thanks for it. Give him praise. Give him thanks for healing you in Jesus' name. Ooh, sing it out. Oh, sing it out, ladies. Sing it out. Make a declaration. Make a declaration tonight. Oh, come, Holy Spirit, I need thee. Tell him you need him tonight, church. Tell him you need him tonight. Hallelujah. Woo, yes, Lord. Sweet Spirit. Woo, yes, Lord. Holy, 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 Lord. Holy are you tonight, Lord. Fill him with your spirit, Lord. Fill him with the Holy Ghost. Fill him with the Holy Ghost, Lord. Fill us with the Holy Ghost. Send revival, Lord. Send revival, Lord. Send a spiritual awakening tonight in this place. Woo, yes, Lord. One more time, one more time. Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, we need you tonight. Lord, we need you. We want you, Lord. We desire you tonight. Oh, come, sweet spirit, I pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come in thy strength and thy power. Yes, Lord. Oh, come. My Lord, Holy Ghost, flood this place. Holy Spirit, fill this place. Holy Spirit, we bless you. Holy Spirit, we worship you tonight. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Lord. There's none like you, Lord. There's none like you tonight, God. There's no one like our God. There's no God like my God tonight. Holy, 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 Lord. Holy, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Great and mighty are you, Lord. Great and mighty is your name tonight. We will exalt you, Lord. We will bless you tonight. Woo! Shurama Maralamata. Woo! Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah to the great God Almighty. Woo! Shurama Marama Satana Lamata. Shurama Lamora Kishana Lamata. Yara Moranda Lamata. Woo! Bless him, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We hunger for you. We hunger for you. We thirst at my Lord, my God. Lord, you just satisfy. You will satisfy, Lord. You will satisfy, Lord. Woo! More of you, Lord. 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 More, Lord. More of you tonight, Lord. Woo! Praise Him. Seek after Him. Seek after Him. Desire Him tonight. Desire Him. Long after Him tonight. Thirst after Him. Hunger after Him tonight. Woo! My Lord. Lord, break the fetters. Lord, break the fetters. Lord, break every stronghold. 
Lord, open the prison doors tonight. Lord, release the Paul and Silas's tonight. Lord, release the Peters tonight. Lord, release the Peters. Lord, they're bound in the prison cells. Lord, release them tonight. Lord, release them tonight. Lord, Oh, you're holy, Lord. You're holy, Lord. You're holy, Lord. Holy, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I need it all, but what I need is more of you. Hallelujah. Of things I've had my feet. Yet I hunger still. Hallelujah. Lord, hear my prayer for more of you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, more of you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, more of you. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I've had it all, but what I need is more. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, of things I've had my fill, and yet I hunger still, empty and bare, Lord, hear my prayer for more of you. Oh, sing it to him tonight, sing it to him, more. Lord, I want more of you tonight. Oh, more of you. Let's make it a love song to Jesus. It all, but what I need is more. Oh, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God. Things I've had my fill. And yet I hunger still. Ooh, yes, Lord, empty and bare. Lord, hear my prayer for more of you. I'm going to sing it one more time tonight. Oh, more of you. Yes, Lord, oh, more of you. Hallelujah. I've had it all, but what I need is more of you. Just more, Lord, of things I've had my fill. And yet I hunger still, empty and bare. Lord, hear my prayer for more of you. Hallelujah. Just praise him tonight. Give him praise all over this place tonight. Just worship the Lamb of God. He's worthy. He's worthy. Give him adoration. Give him homage tonight. Hallelujah. Adore him. Adore him tonight. Adore him, adore him, adore him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Adore him tonight. Adore the wonderful name of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Lord. Praise your name, Lord. Praise your name. Lord, we lift you up tonight. We extol you, Lord. We extol your wonderful holy name, the name that's above every name tonight. Lord, it's holy. Lord, it's holy tonight. Lord, your name is holy. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Praise you, Lord. Greg, what's that old song Jim used to sing about the Spirit? It shall flow like a river. It shall flow like It shall fall like the rain. It shall rise in dawning in glory o'er the land. For the Spirit of the Lord shall fill all the earth for the spirit of the lord shall fall how many believe that tonight and it shall flow like a river it shall fall like the rain it shall rise in dawning in glory o'er the land for the spirit of the lord shall fill all the earth for the spirit of the lord shall fall how many wants the spirit of the lord to fall all over you tonight hallelujah just raise those hands lift your voice toward heaven tonight and say, Lord, I just want you to flow all over me, Lord. I want you to fill me to running over. Lord, I want you to fill my cup tonight. Lord, I want you to fill my spirit, fill my soul. Lord, renew my heart tonight. Free of the Lord shall. One more time, and it shall flow like a river. It shall fall like the rain. It shall rise the dawning in glory o'er the Lamb, my Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo, yes, Lord. Fill all the earth. Mm. My Lord. Isaiah said, Lord, I see your glory high and lifted up. I see your train that filled the temple and your glory that fills the earth tonight. Folks, we're so not serving a God. We're serving the God. We're serving the God, the rock of ages, the ancient of days. We're serving the great I am tonight. Amen. My Lord, it was nothing, nothing that can satisfy like Jesus. No one, no riches, no amount of riches, no amount of wealth, no amount of nothing can satisfy the longing that's in our hearts. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's stand to our feet tonight if you can. Somebody testify real quick. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody else real quick. Real quick. Be prompt. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody gave it an old one, but somebody gave me a smoker that I have desired for years. It came to my house this week. I am so excited over it. God blessed me with a brand and a brand new, but it's new and I'm excited about it. A new smoker in my house. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Saturday morning, Saturday morning, Saturday at noon. That's right, that's right. We'll all benefit from it. Amen. What? Always, brother. Oh, see how God works? See how God works? God is so good tonight. 
kiss. Yes. Whew. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you guys for being worshipers of the living God. You are worshipers. You are worshipers of the living God tonight. So good to have you tonight, sister. The Lord bless you for coming out tonight. Thank you for coming tonight, all the home folk. Brother Mark, would you be so kind as to dismiss us in prayer, brother?